Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV. We're here at CDN Live 2013. I'm here with Cadence, Samsung, and Arm talking about the 14 nanometer FinFET. Now collaboration is a very key component to achieving first time silicon success at advanced technology nodes. Alan, um, why is early collaboration at 14 nanometers so critical to silicon success? Uh, well, the foundry, EDA and the design ecosystem is very important for the design wins and for customer uh, time to market. Mm -hmm. And this early engagement collaboration with ARM and the Cadence is really to address the new challenges during the process development stage. Uh, Raul, uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on Cadence's 14 nanometer FinFET from the custom and digital aspect? Sure, Sean. So FinFET uh, I believe is a paradigm shift for the whole industry. That's why the entire semiconductor industry is looking at it uh, with great awe and anticipation. Uh, one of the reasons is it's got the best electrical characteristics that we have seen in a long time. Um, the leakage current is, is very low. The threshold voltage is very low. What that offers our end users is a best of both worlds in performance and power. Excellent. John. Uh, this is the first instance of a full Cortex-A7 14 nanometer FinFET process. Now from an implementation standpoint, can you share more details regarding the significance of the Cortex-A7 test chip? Sure, and I think it's important to remember that you know we've been engaging with Samsung and with support from Cadence for a long time on test chips for new process technologies. But if you look back just a few years, we did a 32 nanometer test chip but that test chip in this early stage of the process development was a Cortex-M0, a much simpler uh, core. What we've done with this test chip and this collaboration is take a much more advanced A-profile core with our Cortex-A7. This is a full uh, Cortex-A profile chip that you can buy in a cell phone today. It has a cache and it has all the capability of an A-profile core, but we put this in a test chip so early and we think that's gonna accelerate and de-risk the uh, customers who are using this kind of process. Fantastic, Raul. So what do designers need to know uh, about the custom IP and standard cell designs uh, using FinFET? So FinFET, uh, uh, at least three challenges come to my mind uh, for the full custom and uh, standard cell designs. One is uh, for FinFETs, uh, we're using, the industry is using SADP, or self-aligned double patterning, instead of the traditional LELE, which is the layout edge layout edge kind of configuration. And that is very restrictive in terms of the grid that get, uh, the fins get localized to. That's something that uh, the standard cell tools and the designers have to get used to. Yeah. The second is uh, the transistor width itself. In the traditional planar transistors, transistor width could be varied uh, almost arbitrarily. But now you have these discrete fins and you can go only in discrete uh, digital kind of steps, right? That's something, uh, that's a new challenge. And the third key challenge is the parasitics itself. Now you have these fins which are up in a third dimension in a Z axis and that increases the capacitive and resistance effects that adds to the Miller effects and hence uh, the performance. And that's something that uh, the designers need to kind of model. So uh, is, is the uh, FinFET, 14 nanometer FinFET uh, process development, is it on track? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we have the test vehicle started last year and our MPW, the multi-project wafer, is ready now for the early FinFET adopters like ARM. John, why don't you just bring it all together, summarize it, uh, the technical collaboration between ARM, Cadence, Samsung, on the A7 test chip. Sure, and I think that uh, the last two answers really highlight the two aspects of it. On the one hand, from a risk reduction perspective, one of the key benefits our customers are looking for is us to reduce the risk of them getting their design to market fast. So by having the tool flow, the physical IP and the optimized physical IP and the core and the process all linked together, it highly de-risks the work of the customer need to get their design to market. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today. So for uh, John Heinlein uh, from ARM, Raul, Raul Delcar from Cadence, and Alan Lin from Samsung, thank you very much. My name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV.